for Cleveland, uh, it has been the best in the land. You look at their offensive rating in the 2017 playoffs, pretty darn good, and it's gotten better as the rounds have wore on despite the good defense the Celtics showed in the last series. Number of different things that they've done well. What's impressed you the most, outside of just individually how great LeBron's been, about the team offensively, Rick? Well, just how fluid they've been and how increasingly they've grown in confidence. Uh, the sharing of the basketball is something that all great teams do, but uh, the, the focal point of LeBron as well as Kyrie in the creation, not only for themselves, but with all of the great shooters, look at the confidence. I mean, I should start there with the confidence with which they're playing with. But with these great shooters from Love, and we'll talk about him later, Kyle Korver, you know, they have the stretch ability to, to, to knock down threes once those two individuals, LeBron and Kyrie, can get into the paint and create for others. But they've made the offense and offensive side of the ball look extremely easy. Per 100 possessions, they're, they're scoring the ball five more points than anyone in the postseason, uh, which will challenge the defense of the Golden State Warriors, who are five points better defensively than anybody, which makes it sound like it's almost a wash, right? Yeah, well, it, apparently they say it's going to be an even series, what they're telling me in my ear. You don't want to give them second chance points either, but we know what Tristan Thompson and Love can bring. That's rebounds, which can also bring extra opportunities from downtown. Look at the three-point leaders per game in the 2017 playoffs. Not surprising to see Steph there. Kevin Love has been a factor in really all three series. He was certainly so in Boston. Show us exactly some of the things that they're doing to free him up here in this offense, Rick. Well, they're, they're a great understanding that getting him going early is going to benefit them. You know, this, these opportunities with LeBron James below the, the free throw line here, anytime he's below, he forces you to pay attention. Good defense has helped, helped the helper, right? Thaddeus Young gets down there and gets uh, in front of Miles Turner's man, but late out to Kevin Love. And LeBron James in that paint can not only finish for himself, but he can get his teammates going already. Look how he picked up pace, right? Forcing five guys here to either make a decision, stop him indirectly, or be passive. They got caught passively here, allowing LeBron James, who he could have pulled up in the paint there, to kick out. This is one of my favorites here because the Boston Celtics are pretty good defenders. Gerald Green here, understanding that Shumpert, not the best three-point shooter, but look at Marcus Smart. Face guarding Kyle Korver, but Al Horford doing the right thing to protect the rim. Too far for him to make a run out there to Kevin Love. So we saw three opportunities for Kevin Love to get going uh, early on in this game, all created off of the penetration from LeBron James below the free throw line, which all great defending teams will send help because you always want to keep a man, or in some cases two, when it's LeBron James between him and the basket. But when you do that, you better rotate and have your head on a swivel, unlike Marco Smart, who was face guarding a great shooter in Kyle Korver. But, you know, you want Amon Shumper taking that shot, not Kevin Love. You know, Rick, what you have to love, I think, in at home as you watch this about Kevin Love, he was challenged so often about how do you fit in, what can you do. The importance of a stretch four yeah. in this league right now is key. How well has he fit into that mold and shown its importance? Well, I think he, he fought it. He fought it uh, in the initial you know, setup of, of this ca this iteration of the Cav, uh, Cavaliers. And, and now I think he's relaxed into the understanding that it, it, it makes this team great, not just good, when he, when he can stretch the floor, give driving lanes, because defenders have to stay home with him. It allows LeBron and Kyrie to move freely within the half-court set. Uh, and if he gets, and if they respect him the way they have by getting him going, then it just opens up everything. Because now you, you, you have to pick your poison, right? And with Kevin Love knocking down seven, eight three-pointers a game, you know, that, that kind of matches for some of the power you'll see from the Golden State Warriors from behind the arc. Well, I'll tell you, pick your poison could really be the heading of a book written about the Warriors' offense. It tells you how good they are. They've gone undefeated without one of the best shooters in all the land doing really anything. You look at Klay Thompson and his play. There are so many different reasons you can come up with. As a shooter yourself, how much of it is – rhythm we've seen him throughout the course of the year take less shots but even more so in the last couple of weeks well he's, he's still getting good shots i think he, you know with fewer attempts there may be a, a slight rush uh an excitement that is that is that is coming in in his game at the moment uh i don't i don't if, if i'm the game planning for the warriors want to see him taking too many of those and he may be, a, you know, fortunately for him, in a great position to get out of any kind of playoff slump he's been in in the finals because the, the Cavs are going to have to pick. 
They're not gonna they're not gonna leave Steph Curry, they're not gonna leave Kevin Durant. No. The way Draymond Green is shooting the three right now, you know, you have to pick your poison, right? Again, that's the whole thing. Pick your poison. Who are you gonna leave to take those shots? We know the theory of last year's Harrison uh, Barnes. Harrison Barnes was that guy. Yes. And it actually paid dividends because Harrison was not shooting the ball as well. You can argue that Clay's shooting Harrison Barnes like. I don't at the want to moment. leave Clay Thompson. No offense I, if, to Harrison Barnes. It, all but, he needs is maybe a little yeah. conch salad, little you know, a little goombe punch or something to get him going, and 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 I believe he'll be well. he'll be okay.